Okay, in this video, um, part two of six of trigonometric integrals, um, here I'm going to look at powers of uh, products, products of powers of cosine and sine, and then I want um, both the powers to be positive even integers. So here are a couple formulas, trig identities, that are going to be useful to uh, help us accomplish this. So cosine squared of x equals one half times the quantity one plus cosine two x. Sine squared is the same, except there's a minus in between. And then sine of 2x is 2 sine x cosine x. So, okay, so again, here's our problem. Um, we can't do this trick because neither of the uh, powers are odd, like before. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my trig identity. So sine squared, it said that's 1 half, 1 minus cosine of 2x. And then cosine squared, well that's one half one plus cosine of two x. Okay, so what you can do at this point is you can multiply the half and the half, and that'll give you one fourth out front. And then if you think about the one fourth being out front, <clears throat> that takes care of the half. So what you would have to do is now foil out the next two terms. So one times one will give me one, it looks like we'll get a um, positive cosine 2x. Looks like we'll get a negative cosine 2x. And then we'll be left with a negative cosine squared of 2x term. Okay, all of that dx. So again, I'm just foiling out the 1, the positive cosine 2x, the negative cosine 2x, and then the negative cosine squared. So let me put those halves back in there because they should be there, obviously. Um, but I pulled them out as the fourth. So my terms in the middle are going to cancel out. So what are we left with? We've got one fourth. We've got one. And oh, lo and behold, I've got another cosine squared of 2x term. Again, what I'm going to use, though, I'm going to use this identity just like a second ago. It says cosine squared of x is one half one plus cosine of 2x. Okay, so I'm going to use that identity on my cosine squared of 2x part. Again, I should have all this in parentheses with dx. Um, so 1 fourth out front, I'm going to leave the 1 alone, minus. And now if I use this identity, I'm going to get 1 half, 1 plus cosine. And if you think about this formula, it really says whatever's inside of here, it gets doubled in the formula, right? You multiply it by 2. So since I originally had 2x, I'm now going to get a 4x out. And again, now I would just clean this up. My 1 fourth is out front. You'd have 1 minus, if you distribute the half, you'll get a 1 half. And then it looks like we'll get a uh, minus 1 half cosine of 4x. Again, all that dx. So the 1 minus the 1 half will cancel. And that'll leave us with the fourth out front. I'll have 1 half minus 1 half cosine of 4x dx. Well, um, looks like I'm running out of room here, so I'm just going to put this back on the top. So let me give myself a little bit of room here in the middle. Okay, so let's see, we've got one fourth, one half, one. Okay, so it's a good thing about video, you can just replay it. Um, so this is now what we're trying to integrate. Well, obviously, um, you could bust this up and do the one half individually. And then for our cosine of 4x term, we'll simply do a u substitution on that piece. So we'll let u equal 4x, du will be 4dx, so I can divide and get a fourth dx. So when I integrate, I'll get 1 fourth. For my 1 half, I'll get a 1 half x term. I've got my minus 1 half. If I integrate, um, so really I'm integrating 1 fourth, if I pull the 1 fourth out front, cosine of u du. So this is 1 fourth out front, 1 half x minus an 8. 
if I integrate cosine of u, I'm going to get sine of u. Whoops, no du, what am I doing? Plus c. And last but not least, I don't know, we could distribute our fourth in there. So we'll have 1 8 x minus 1 over 32 sine of u, but u again is 4x, all of that plus c. Okay, so sorry I got a little cut off there for a second. Um, and that would be your final answer. So definitely these ones that have even powers, um, I think they get a lot more tedious because you, you'll have to kind of use repeated use of these cosine squared and sine squared problems and you basically just keep reducing the powers so they can get pretty long and tedious. So I hope this example makes some sense and helps you out. Um, feel free uh, to dig around my website. I'll have more trig integrals uh, videos on there shortly.